I will say. Who said wa aqulu? Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid. He said wa aqulu. I will say. Lil lafzi al kalami ma'na yani. The word, the word al kalam has two meanings. Ahaduhuma. One of them is lugawiyun. One is the linguistic meaning. Wa thani. The second one is nahwi, a grammatical meaning. The first one is a linguistic meaning. And the second one is a grammatical meaning. أَمَّا الْكَلَامُ اللُّغَوِيُّ As for speech in its linguistic meaning, فَهُوَ عِبَارَةٌ عَمَّا تَحْصُلُ بِسَبَبِهِ فَائِدَةٌ سَوَاءٌ أَكَانَ لَفْضًا أَمْ لَمْ يَكُنْ كَالْخَطِّ وَالْكِتَابَةِ وَالْإِشَارَةِ He said the linguistic definition of the word kalam is عِبَارَةٌ عَمَّا تَحْصُلُ It is that which occurs from it or based on it, a benefit. Whether it is أَكَانَ لَفْضًا Whether it's utterance. أَمْ لَمْ يَكُنْ Or even if it's not utterance. كَالْخَطِّ كَالْخَطِّ Like writing. وَالْكِتَابَةِ Khat is, is writing. I'm a writ, something that's written. Well, kitabati is writing. Well, isharati is to point. I want you to brothers realize something very important. The grammarians sometimes they fall into matters which can cause harm to your mu'taqat, your aqidah. Huh? For us, kalam is. Kalam for us, the right definition is hurufun. It's sawtun. Sorry, sawtun. It is sound. Yashtamilul huruful hijaiya. It is a sound that consists, the sound that you are, is being used is letters that are taken from the alphabets. It has to have a sound. Why? Because we want to go against the, the filthy belief of who? The Asha'ira. The Asha'ira, what they did was they said that the kalam is something which is nafsi, something that's within you. Anything that's within you, as a poet from them said, إِنَّ الْكَلَامَ لَفِي الْفُؤَادِ وَإِنَّمَا جُعِلَ اللِّسَانُ لِمَا فِي الْفُؤَادِ دَلِيلًا The kalam is what? Something that's inside you. So it's not something that comes out of you. Why would they do that? They want to say Allah's speech is something that's within him and it doesn't come out. Whereas Ahlul Sunnah believe what? Allah's speech is what? It is salt. We believe Allah is heard, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the aqeed of Ahlul Sunnah. And the evidence that Ahlul Sunnah use on this issue is what? The evidence that Ahlul Sunnah use is what? Nabiullah Zakariya. When he, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala told him he's going to have a child, what did Allah say to him? He said to Allah, sorry, Zakaria said to Allah, قَالَ رَبِّ جَعَلْ لِي آيَةً Oh Allah, make a sign for me. Meaning when my wife is pregnant and she's having a child, oh Allah, give me a sign. When she becomes preg impregnated. So Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he said, قَالَ آيَتُكَ أَلَّا تُكَلِّمَ النَّاسِ The sign that you're going to have is that you're not going to speak to the people. So if we take the belief of the Asha'ira, then that means Nabiullah Zakaria, what was negated from him if speech is something within you? Because that was within him. What was negated from Zakaria is a salt, the sound, and that is what kalam is. Because Zakaria, he was doing something which is what? قَالَ رَبِّ جَعَلِي آيَةً قَالَ آيَتُكَ أَلَّا تُكَلِّمَ النَّاسَ ثَلَاثَةَ إِلَّا رَمْزًا That you're not going to speak to the people except signing, you're going to point at them things. So Zakaria had something in him that he was getting his message through to the people. But the thing that Allah negated from him was the utterance, the, the vocal sound is not going to be there. Okay? So you have to be careful. Uh, when you study books of grammar, that, that has to be very well understood. Okay? <clears throat> very. As for grammar according to the grammarians. Sorry, as for speech, according to the grammarians, is 
فلا بد من أن يجتمع فيه أربعة أمور. Four things have to be present. According to the grammarians, four things have to be present in order for us to say this is a, it's a kalam, it's a speech. According to the grammarians. The grammarians only can consider this a kalam when there is what? When four things are present. Al the first one is, أن يكون لفظا. And inshallah ta'ala we're going to take that in a bit what lafza means. والثاني, the second one is, أن يكون مركبا. The second one is that it's مركب. We'll take what it means inshallah ta'ala. والثالث, the third one is, أن يكون مفيدا. That it has to be مفيد. والرابع, and the fourth one is, أن يكون موضوعا بالوضع العربي. I will take what that means. What that means. So, brothers, pay attention, and sisters. Four things are that has to be present in order for it to be a kalam according to the grammarians. The grammarians, for them to consider this as a kalam, four things is what they want. And yakuna lafzan, and yakuna murakaban, and yakuna mufidan, and yakuna mawdu'an bil wad'il arabi. Let's go back to lafzan. What does lafzan mean? Wa ma'ana kawnihi lafzan. We don't have to add anything to it, inshallah. Everything I'm saying is in, the, in, in it's here. Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid is mentioning it. وَمَعْنَا كَوْنِهِ لَفْضًا As for it being a lafz means أَنْ يَكُونَ صَوْتًا It has to be a sound. مُشْتَمِلًا That consists of عَلَى بَعْضِ الْحُرُوفِ الْهِجَائِيَّةِ أَلَّتِي تَبْدَأُ بِالْأَلِفِ وَتَنْتَهِي بِالْيَاءِ It has to be a sound. So it has to be a voice that comes out. That consists of the, Arab, the, alphabet of the, the Arabic alphabets. Beginning with alif, ending with what? الَّتِي تَبْدَأُ بِالْأَلِفِ وَتَنْتَهِي بِالْيَاءِ That finishes with what? With ya. And it gives an example. وَمِيثَالُهُ Example is أَحْمَدُ That's a kalima. That is a Kalam, sorry. وَيَكْتُبُ It's a kalam. Ahmadu is a name. وَيَكْتُبُ is writing. وَسَعِيدٌ And Sa'id is a kalam. فَإِنَّ كُلَّ وَاحِدَةٍ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْكَلِمَاتِ الثَّلَاثَةِ عِنْدَ النُطْقِ Those three, each one of them, each one of them, which is Ahmad, يَكْتُبُ and Sa'id, each one of them, from these words, عِنْدَ النُطْقِ When they are pronounced, تَكُونُ that It will be صَوْتًا It will be a sound. مُشْتَمِلًا That consists of عَلَىٰ أَرْبَعَةِ أَحْرُفٍ هِجَائِيَةٍ Four Arabic alphabets. All four of them. أَحْمَدُ is four letters. يَكْتُبُ four letters. Sa'idun, four letters. So each, each, every one of them, they consist of letters that are from the alphabet. Each one has four. So this is called what? When I added it, what did, what did it become? It became a kalam. Why? Because it's not, I pronounced it. فَالْإِشَارَةُ مَثَلًا A ishara is to point something out. لَا تُسَمَّى It is not called kalaman عِنْدَ النَّحْوِيِّينَ According to the grammarians, uh, the Ishara, pointing at something, is not grammar. Why? Why is it not? لِعَدَمِ كَوْنِهَا صَوْتًا Because it is not a sound. مُشْتَمِلًا A sound that consists of عَلَى بَعْضِ الْحُرُوفِ Some of the letters. وَإِنْ كَانَتْ Even that though, to some, even that though it is called عِنْدَ اللُّغَوِيِّينَ According to the, the language, the linguistics. Even that it is called a speech. لِحُصُولِ الْفَائِدَةِ بِهَا Because there's benefit that comes out of it. And did we agree with that? We don't agree with that. Good. وَمَعْنَا So the, that's the, أَنْ يَكُونَ اللَّفْضًا We realize what it means. لَفْضًا means أَنْ يَكُونَ صَوْتًا مُشْتَمِلًا عَلَى بَعْضِ الْحُرُوفِ الْهِجَائِيَةِ الَّتِي تَبْدَأُ بِالْأَلِفِ وَتَنْتَهِي وَتَنْتَهِي بِالْيَائِ That's it. What does he mean مُرَكَّبًا? The second condition was what? وَأَنْ يَكُونَ وَأَنْ يَكُونَ مُرَكَّبًا وَمَعْنَا كَوْنِهِ مُرَكَّبًا The meaning it being a مُرَكَّب means أَنْ يَكُونَ مُؤَلَّفًا مِنْ كَلِمَتَيْنِ It has to be 
made up of two words. أو أكثر أمو. The second one which is مراكب. مراكب means it has to be a compounded word. It means it has to it has to be made up of more than two or more. Two or more. For example, Muhammadun Musafirun. Muhammad is a traveler. Muhammad is a mubtada. Musafirun is a khabar. So we have Muhammadun Musafirun. How many does it consist of? It's a compounded. How many does it consist of? Muhammad, which is one, and the second one, which is Musafir. Number two, Wal ilmun, wal il, uh, so the second one is Al ilmu nafi'u. Beneficial knowledge. Al ilmu and an ilmu nafi'u. We have here what? We have um, two words, which is Al ilmu, and we have nafi', it's murakkab, it's kalam. Huh? وَيَبْلُغُ الْمُجْتَهِدُ الْمَجْدَ We have three here. يَبْلُغُ One is to reach. الْمُجْتَهِدَ The mujtahid is going to reach. The mujtahid is the one who's striving. He will reach what? الْمَجْدَ honor. He's going to reach what? honor. يَبْلُغُ One. الْمُجْتَهِدُ Two. الْمَجْدَ Three. So it's three words, right? So it's more than two. It's kalam. Next one is لِكُلِّ مُجْتَهِدٍ نَصِيبٌ For every mujtahid, there's a portion. He gets a portion of his efforts. So the word what is? لِكُلِّ one. مُجْتَهِدٍ And then we have nasib. Aha. Uh-huh. Or you can say لِكُلِّ The lamb is harfu jar كُلِّ مُجْتَهِدٍ نَصِيبٌ نعم وَالْعِلْمُ خَيْرٌ مَا تَسْعَى إِلَيْهِ الْعِلْمُ One خَيْرٌ Two مَا Three إِلَيْهِ Four Five sorry Yeah Five الْعِلْمُ خَيْرٌ ما تسعى إليه so العلم one خير two ما three تسعى four إليه five so what do we have here the sheikh brought two he brought three he brought four and he brought five and even more if you want that's كلام فكل عبارة all of those sentences من هذه العبارات تسمى كلاما it is called a كلام why وكل عبارة منها مؤلفة من كلمتين أو أكثر because it consists of more than two words or more فالكلمة الواحدة لا تسمى كلاما one word is not called a كلام so for example if I say محمد that's not كلام عند النحات according to the grammarians إلا unless إذا انضم إليها غيرها unless something else accompanies it Dhamma is to accompany. Unless another word accompanies it, it doesn't become a kalam. Sawa'un akanan dhimamu ghayriha ilayha haqiqatan. Whether that accompanying or for it to be accompanied, it, whether it's literal, like the previous examples, or taqdiran, or it is what? Whether it's explicit or implicit, it doesn't matter. Hey, what does he mean? Explicit, we just saw it. Muhammadun Musafirun. Al ilmu nafi'un. Yablu al mujtahida. Mujtahidu al majda. Likulli mujtahidin nasibun. Al ilmu khayru ma tasa ilayhi. So that's all haqiqa. You can all see those. You can count it yourself. Hey, taqdiran means what? Taqdiran means. Ah. Uh, كَمَا إِذَا قَالَ لَكَ قَائِلٌ It is like when a person says to you مَنْ أَخُوكَ Who's your brother? And then you say مُحَمَّدٌ That's it. You just say مُحَمَّدٌ Somebody comes up to you and says to you مَنْ أَخُوكَ Who's your brother? And you reply by saying مُحَمَّدٌ Here's تَقْدِير What is the تَقْدِير? فَهَذِهِ الْكَلِمَةُ تُعْتَبَرُ كَلَامًا The word Muhammad that you just said by itself It is considered a kalam. 
لِأَنَّ التَّقْدِيرَ Because what is implicit, meaning cannot be seen is Muhammadun Akhi Muhammad is my brother is what you're saying Because the person said to you مَنْ أَخُوكَ And you're saying Muhammadun Akhi فَهِيَ فِي التَّقْدِيرِ The word Akhi is implicit فَهِيَ فِي التَّقْدِيرِ عِبَارَةٌ مُؤَلَّفَةٌ مِنْ ثَلَاثِ كَلِمَاتٍ آه And it's hidden. في التقدير عبارة مؤلفة. And it's a sentence that consists of what? Consists of three words. Which is what? محمد أخ أني. The yeah by itself. It's the ضمير that comes back to you. Or more we can do that. ومعنى كونه مفيدا. So we have three already. أن يكون لفظا. أن يكون مركبا. The third one is what? أن يكون مفيدا. What does مفيدا mean? It means أن يحسن سكوت المتكلم عليه. It is the person. It will silence them. The one who's listening to you, who you're talking to. It will silence him. بحيث لا يبقى بحيث لا يبقى سامع منتظرا لشيء آخر. The one who is listening to you is not waiting for you to add on anything. For example, if you say to him, فَلَوْ قُلْتَ If you say, إِذَا حَضَرَ الْأُسْتَاذُ If the teacher comes and you stop, it is not called a speech. لَا يُسَمَّ ذَلِكَ كَلَامًا That is not called a speech. Yes, it has met the two other conditions previously, which is it, it is لَفْضًا Yes, it is مُرَكَّبًا But the issue is it is not مُفِيدًا Why? Because you bought إِذَا which is شَرْطِيَة and you raise the job of shart. You said, إِذَا حَذَرَ الْأُسْتَاذُ If the teacher comes and you went quiet. Hey, I'm still, my, I'm not going to be quiet, the listener. I'm going to be like, so? So what's going to happen? لَا يُسَمَّ ذَلِكَ كَلَامًا That is not called a kalam. وَلَوْ أَنَّهُ لَفْضٌ مُرَكَّبٌ Even that though it is a compounded word. مِنْ ثَلَاثَةِ مِنْ ثَلَاثِ كَلِمَاتٍ It consists of three words. إِذَا أَنْ حَذَرَ أَنْ أُسْتَاذ It consists of three words. It is two, not a kalam. Why? لِأَنَّ الْمُخَاطَبَ Because the one who's been spoken to يَنْتَظِرُ is awaiting مَا تَقُولُ بَعْدَ هَذَا What you're going to say to him after this. مِمَّا يَتَرَتَّبُ عَلَى حُضُورِ الْأُسْتَاذِ He's waiting for you to tell him what is going to happen when the teacher comes. فَإِذَا قُلْتَ If you say إِذَا حَذَرَ الْأُسْتَاذُ أَنْصَتَ التَّلَامِيذُ If you say if the student, if the teacher comes, the students will be will be silent. صار كلاما. Now it's called a kalam. لحصول الفائدة because there's a benefit. The listener will still he will not ask you. You've given him the job of shart, which is what? أنس أنس التلاميذ. The students will be quiet. So the if here right now has its answer, which is if the teacher comes here, the students will be quiet. This is called a kalam. Why? Because it has the condition that was needed, which is what? Mufidan, it benefits. Now, brothers, pay attention. The word mufid, and a lot of people make say to you, it's benefits. So that means that if I knew this, then you didn't benefit me. So it's not a kalam, not even if you knew it. If I tell you something you've already knew or known, for example, you might have known that the students will be quiet when the teacher comes, but that's still a kalam because it benefits means here that the sentence is complete, that you will not want to ask me for more. Okay. ومعنى كونه موضوعا بالوضع العربي. And what does it mean? It being the Arabic language. It being according to the Arabic language. What does that mean? What does it mean? ومعنى كونه موضوعا بالوضع العربي. What does it mean that it has to be placed in the Arabic rulings or structure? Sheikh is going to explain it to us. أن تكون الألفاظ أن تكون الألفاظ المستعملة في الكلام من الألفاظ التي وضعها العرب. The wordings that are used, the wordings which are used in your speech has to be from the wordings which the Arabs have placed. التي وضعتها العرب. The Arabs have placed it. They've put it down. 
لِدَلَالَةِ عَلَى مَعْنًا مِنَ الْمَعَانِي Because of it showing a meaning from the meanings. مثلا example. حَضَرَ The word حَضَرَ كَلِمَةٌ It's a word. وَضَعَهَا الْعَرَبُ The Arabs placed this word. لِمَعْنًا And they placed it with a meaning in it. What is it? وَهُوَ And the meaning is حُصُولُ الْحُضُورِ A coming to occur في الزمن الماضي in the past. So when they placed it, they placed the word حَضَرَ as what? A coming but done in the past. That's how the Arabs placed it. وَكَلِمَةُ مُحَمَّدْ And the word Muhammad قَدْ وَضَعَهَا الْعَرَبُ The Arabs placed it. لِمَعْنًا They placed it for a meaning. وَهُوَ And it is ذَاتُ الشَّخْصِ الْمُسَمَّى بِهَذَا الْإِسْمِ It is that person who the word, the name is being given to. What would have been a better ex- wording here right now would have been what? It is Muhammad. It is and the person who is praised a lot. The person who is praised a lot is called what? Muhammad. And the Arabs, they use it for that. Okay? فَإِذَا قُلْتَ For example, if you say, حَذَرَ مُحَمَّدٌ And remember, it's an ism للمسمّى. It's a name for individual as well. So, حَذَرَ مُحَمَّدٌ Muhammad came. تكون you would be one قد استعملت كلمتين use two words. كل منهما each of those words which is حضارة and محمد both of them each and every one of them here. مما وضعه العرب the Arabs placed it. You're not speaking Persian basically. You're not speaking Somalian. You're not speaking Urdu. You're speaking Arabic language because the Arabs they placed the word حضارة and they're the ones who placed the word محمد. Okay. بخلاف the opposite to that is what. ما إذا تكلمت بكلام it is to speak a speech مما وضعه العجم that the foreigners have placed كالفرسي like the Persians والتركي والبربري والفرنجي these countries French and all of these languages the Turks and what not <coughs> فإنه لا يسمى في عرف العلماء العربية كلاما according to the scholars of the Arabic language, they don't consider that to be Arabic. They don't consider that to be speech. Even though other people of other language call it speech, Arabs don't consider it speech. Speech for them means what? What is in accordance to their language. So, summary of that four points, which is very important. The lafdan means what? It has to be words. Uh, a sound, sorry, a vocal sound that comes out of the person's mouth. So, ishara and all of that, it is not a kalam. The second is an yakuna murakkaban, that it consists of one or two or more words. Whether that, whether it is what, haqiqa or taqdeer, whether it's explicit or implicit, doesn't matter. Explicit is like when it's Muhammadun, ha uh, musafirun, two words. Or even more. Another one would be qum, stand. Qum is one word. Is it a kalam? Yes, it is a kalam. Why? You just said to me that it has to be two or more. So how is qum a kalam? The reason why is because there is a taqdeer. There's an implicit, something you can't see which is hidden. What is it? Qum anta. You stand up. Good. The third one, ikhwani, is mufidan. Mufidan means... أن يحسن السكوت المتكلم عليه. The one who's talking, it's the right time to be for him to be quiet. بحيث لا يبقى السامع منتظرا لشيء آخر. Whereas the one who's listening does not await any more for you to add on to. So you don't say إذا حضر الأستاذ if the teacher comes here, that's incorrect. But if you say إذا حضر الأستاذ أنصت أنصت التلاميذ, you've now finished the sentence completely. You finished the sentence. Very good. The fourth one is that it has to be words that you're using has to be something placed by the Arabs. Another point that the scholars mention here, which is al-wada. He just Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Muhammad just mentioned one. So one extra one we need to add to it. This next extra one is that it has to be uh, the person has to be one who meant when he was saying it. 
So the, the person who is sleeping and who sleep talks in his sleep, that's not called a kalam. Why? Because it is not what? Because he did not place it. It is not wada. He didn't deliberately place this word out of his mouth. He didn't deliberately say it. Huh? So when he talks, you just say, ah, he's just, you ignore him. Why? Because it's what? It's not a speech. It's not a, it's not a speech. Very good. Amthilatul lil kalam al mustawfi shuruti. Now we're going to take examples of the, something that fulfills the conditions. Fulfills the conditions of what? The four conditions that were needed. al lafz al murakkab Al-Mufidu, al wada All four conditions that were needed. He's going to give us examples that, that meet it. The first one is, Al-Jawu Sahwun. The, uh, the atmosphere, or the air is, or the serenity in the air. Al-Bustanu Muthmirun. The, the garden, or the park, or the farm, or the garden. It is muthmir, it produces. It produces crops. Al Hilalu Sati. The crescent is bright. As Sama'u Safiya. The sky is pure. Yudi ul Kamaru Laylan. The sun glows at night. Uh, sorry, the moon glows at night. The moon it glows at night. Yanjahul Mujtahidu, the one who strives is going to succeed. La Yuflihul Kasulu, the lazy one does not find prosperity. La ilaha illallahu, there is none worthy of worship except Allah. Muhammadun, Nabi Allah Muhammad. Safwatul Mursalina, he is the elite of the messengers. Allahu Rabbuna, Allah is our Lord. Muhammadun Nabiyuna, and Muhammad is our Prophet. All of those are, each one is by itself is a full sentence. So, Al Jaw Sahwun, Al Bustanu Tham Muthmirun, Al Hilalu Sati'un, Al Sama'u Safiyatun, Yudi'u Al Qamaru Laylan, Yanjahul Mujtahidu, La Yuflihul Kasulu, La Ilaha Illallah, Muhammadun Safwatul Mursalina, Allahu Rabbuna, and the 11th one being Muhammadun Nabiyuna. All of those are what? All of those are each sentence which can be called kalam. Why? The conditions are all present. What were the conditions? They are all uttered. I uttered them for you. Which is that it's laft and it's murakab and it's mufid and it was what? Bil wad'il arabi. Then the Sheikh says, we're talking about the Sheikh Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid. He says, Amthilatun lil-lafzil mufradi. He's going to give us examples of words that are mufrad. Brothers, I want you to understand something very important. The word mufrad sometimes is the opposite of what? Jama, plural. Are you with me? And sometimes it is the opposite of what? Jumla. Jumla or murakab. It can be the opposite to it. Here he's talking about mufrad, which is the opposite to jumla. Okay? The opposite to what? Jumla or murakab. Tarkib. Good. Amthilatul lil lafdil mufradi. Words which are not a sentence, they're individual words. So I don't want to say singular, they're individual words. Good. Muhammadun, Aliyun, Ibrahim, Qamamin. All of those are what? Amthilatun lil mafdil mufradi. They are words that are singular. So Muhammad. Does it consist of a sentence? So it's the opposite to a murakab. It's the opposite to what? Murakab. Very good. Aliyun. Ali. Ibrahim. قام من. Very good. أمثلة للمركب غير المفيد. Here we're going to go into another one, which is it examples of مركب that are not that are not what غير المفيد. So I want you to write this down. It's very important. مركب are of types. There are three types of مركب. Are you with me? There's three types of مركب. There is مركب إسنادي. مركب إسنادي. 
مركب إسنادي. The second one is called مركب إضافي. مركب إضافي. And the third one is مركب مزجي. مركب مزجي. There's three types of there's three types of مركب. The first one is called مركب إسنادي. The second one is called مركب إضافي. The third one is called مركب مزجي. You have to know this. Only one of them is what, what the Sheikh was referring to when he said, الكلام هو اللفظ المركب. The مركب here is مركب إسنادي. When he was saying the four conditions that we set, the one that it applies to is مركب إسنادي. مركب إسنادي you should know by now. It's all the examples that I gave to you before. Which is الجو صحو البستان مثمر الهلال ساطع السماء صافية يضيء القمر ليلا ينجح المجتهد لا يفلح الكسول لا إله إلا الله محمد صفة المرسلين الله ربنا محمد النبينا all of those are مركب which type of مركب مركب إسنادي the second type which is called مركب إضافي is like عبد الله عبد الرحمن why it's two words it's مركب there's عبد and there's Allah. Are you with me? Would you is Abdullah? Is Abdullah? Is it a kalam? Is Abdullah a kalam? But it, it has all the four conditions. It is laft. It is murakab. It is lafdun, murakabun, mufidun, and it's wadah. So why is Abdullah not a kalam? The reason is because it is murakkab, yes, but not murakkab isnadi. It is murakkab idafi. Means that abd and Allah are mudaf and mudafun ilayh. And it's a name of a person. So based on that, if I say Abdullah, it's like saying Muhammad. It is murakab of Abdu, the slave of Allah. So if you t somebody comes up to you and say to you, says to you, Abdul Rahman, you be like, the sentence will be incomplete. Okay, because it's murakab idafi. The sec third type of murakab is what? So the first type of murakab, which was murakab isnadi, we said that one. It is what we were talking about all along. The second type, which is murakab idafi, murakab idafi. It is not a, it's not it is not a kalam. The third one is called murakab mizji. Murakab mizji is what? It used to be like Muhammadun Musafirun, for example. Is that kalam? What about if that became a name of a person? His name is called Muhammad Musafir. That's his name. His parents called him that name. Amaqam Zaidun is his name. This is called Mizji. And the example for that it would be like Yemen. Look at Yemen. Hadramaut. It used to be what? Hadramautun. Hadara. Maut. Death came. Are you with me? Hadar is a fi'il. Maut is a fa'il. It's murakab. But it became Mizji, meaning it became one word. And it became a name known for who? Known for a place. Ta'abbatashar. Ta'abbatasharran. Ta'abbatasharran was the name of a man. Are you with me? Name of a man. What does that mean? Ta'abbatasharran. He put evil in his armpit. So ta'abbata. Iptus here. Sharran. He put evil under his armpit. There's a story to it. This is Ta'abbata and Sharran. Ba'la and Bak. All of those are Mizji. They came one. They are called Murakkab. But it is not Tarkib Isnadi. It's Tarkib Mizji. And Tarkib Idafi and Mizji are not Kalam. Wadah, crystal clear. Amthilatul lil Murakkabi. Ghayr al-Mufidi. Madinatul Iskandariyah. 
مضاف مضاف إليه right it's مضاف مضاف إليه مدينة إسكندرية the city of إسكندرية that's مركب but it's, it's إضافي we don't take it عبد الله we don't take it it's مركب it's it's word مركب but it's not مفيد نعم because why is it not مفيد because it's مركب إضافي مدينة الإسكندرية عبد الله Look, حذر ال حذر موت. It became حذرة حذرة موت. That's called تركيب مزجي. That's that's تركيب مزجي is what. نعم. لو أنصف الناس if only the people were fair. لو is a شرطية. The جواب الشرط is not here. So it's تركيب meaning you haven't brought the جواب الشرط. إذا جاء الشتاء إذا if the winter comes and you are quiet مهما أخفى المرائي however he hides the one who is doing it and you are quiet إن طلعت الشمس if the sun sets sun if the sun rises sorry sun rises ها you didn't mention it. All of those are shartiyya conditions. The jawab is is not mentioned, so it's. Lakin Medina to Iskandaria, Abdullah and Hadramaut, they are murakab. But their tarkib is tarkib called idafi and mizji. Learn that it's important. Good. As ilatun ala ma taqaddama. Questions based on that which we just took. So now this book consists of every chapter before you move on, there's a question in there. So inshallah ta'ala, everyone I want them to, after the next lesson, to give me the, the answers inshallah ta'ala. As'ilatun ala ma taqaddama. Questions on that, the aforementioned information. What you just took, questions regarding it. Ma huwa al-kalamu. What is speech? That's the first question. Number two, second question. Ma ma'na kawnihi lafzan. What does it mean, it being lafz? Three. ما معنى كونه مفيدا؟ What does it mean it being مفيدا؟ What does it mean؟ ما معنى كونه مركبا؟ What does it mean it being مركب؟ What does it mean؟ ما معنى كونه موضوعا بالوضع العربي؟ What does it mean it being placed by the Arabic language؟ What does it mean؟ The last question is مثل Give an example. بخمسة أمثلة five examples لما يسمى عند النحاة كلاما five examples in that which the Arabs consider كلام five examples from your own self give five examples